Good afternoon and welcome to a Wednesday's Hot Bread. Um, the entire story of Abraham and Sarah is seen uh, throughout Genesis um, 12 through 12th chapter through the 23rd chapter. And it, it shows that you can trust God with unknown future. You can listen to uh, and obey God even when you don't know where you're going. And also, you can even trust Him when you don't know what the outcome is going to be. Because you know that God is faithful and that He loves us. But here in the story uh, about Abraham and Sarah, uh, they had many ups and downs. Uh, but one thing about them, they trust in the Lord. So, in particularly in the Genesis 15, uh, verses 1 through 6, it says, After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Fear not, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abraham said, O Lord God, what wilt thou give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold, thou hast given me no offspring, and a slave born in my house will be my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. Your own son shall be your heir. And he brought him outside and he said, Look toward heaven and number the stars if you're able to number them. Then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he, meaning Abraham, believed the Lord. And he reckoned it to him, unto Abraham, as righteousness. So in the story, we learn that Abraham, faith is really great. He had no illusions about what the Lord said. He didn't have any doubts in what he said. It said in the scripture that, and he believed the Lord. Now, how many of us has the Lord spoken to and he can say that, and you believed in me. So we have to look that in looking at Abraham's life that uh, he was not perfect and he made mistakes. He failed, but the thing about him is that he continued to trust in the Lord. He continued to obey God. So what is, what about your life? What, how do you feel um, that you're doing? I'm, I'm coming to encourage you today to look to Jesus, to look to the Lord, to see his word and see all the promises that he has for you. I want you to look at, you may have plans for yourself, but can you depend on your plans to work? Or can you depend on the plans of the Lord to work? In Abraham's life, he had confidence in what God was doing. And so he believed God and he trusted in him to the point that he, when the Lord told him to leave, he left. When the Lord told him to go here, he went. And he kept with uh, the word of the Lord in his heart, the word that the Lord had spoken to him. And he did as God told him to do. He obeyed God. Uh, he didn't worry about his own abilities, but he, he trusted in the Lord. So faith is expressed through Abraham's life through obedience. What about our life? Are you obedient? Do you trust in God to the point that you do not have to see what is in your future. You trust him 
and the words that he has given to you that said that you would prosper, that you would be in health, even as your soul prosper? Do you speak with him? Do you worship him? Do you find yourself in company with the Lord, listening and reading his word and gaining strength and encouraging yourself and encouraging others to know that the Lord is on your side. He is so much in control, the almighty God, that he can change your uh, solutions. He can change the equations to fit your solution. That's how good God is. So I I I say to you that you should saturate yourself in the word of God. Find yourself in prayer. Worship the Lord. Trust in him and know that he is able. If he did it for Abraham and Sarah, he can certainly do it for you. So I praise God today for his word and I encourage you to just saturate yourself in the word of the Lord.